Hey everyone, Matt here, and we are playing Five Nights at Freddy's Plushies 2, version 4, Revival. Or just Five Nights at Freddy's Plushies... Five Nights at Freddy's Plushies 2 Revival. This is the sequel to Five Nights at Freddy's Plushies. And whatnot. There isn't much more to say, so let's just get right on into it. Help one, Grand Reopening. The daycare was given a new life with some kid-sized walking and talking animatronics and one yellow plush bunny. Come be a part, a part, of the brand new and improved Freddy Fazbear's Daycare. So, what can go wrong? $160.50 a week. To apply for this job, call us at this number, 8218-9087. Have fun, kids. Cool time, good night, good luck. Fun. 12 a.m. first night. Woo. Clock in the corner. Woo. Hello there. So welcome to the new job at the Mac Day at Freddy Fazbear's Daycare 2.0. Sweet. New location, new faces, and spring lock Bonnie. Which is a corpse in a robot suit that they decided to keep in a child establishment. I hear movement. It is Freddy. Angry as ever. What's that? Is that Freddy going into the main camera? Woo! Got away from group. I hear you. Easy. Also, I will say. I checked out the custom night and the extras or whatever, and with every animatronic active, it is 10 minutes long. I'm not talking about like, oh, it takes that long to complete it. I'm talking about it, it literally says 10 minutes. That is a long time. Also. It seems like only Freddy has the joint movement sounds. Nope. Maybe I just can hear it. 
So it's the same old, same old. They come into the, they come into your office and you click on them. And there's Orange Bear. Honk honk. Also, this appears to take place for three years after the events of the first game. Since the first game was in 2003. Awesome. And now we just wait for Chica, and then the night will be over. And then maybe we'll get another cutscene with the Crusher. Who knows? Also, something I find funny is how they're like, oh yes, let's bring in new animatronics and a plushie. You'd think they would just stick with the animatronic shtick and just do all animatronics. Except one tiny plushie. It's funny though. Then good old flip up, flip down. Until the night. Six AM Huzzah Then again, I don't think there was a cutscene at the end of the first night. Also, there are only five nights. That's surprising. Oh well. Now we have to deal with Spring Log Bonnie. I hope oh and and the clock's turning red again. Maybe it'll be the same uh, mechanic. Or maybe, well, if you, spring, if you see Spring Frey in your office, go into your monitor and click the enable fire alarm to make him leave. This is a tip for, for Malik and you as well. Sweet. These two? Spring lock Bonnie. And that's about it. Is that Toy Freddy? Yes, it is. Also, I don't understand why they decided to keep it. I, I, like, I still don't. And also, uh, the phone guide, how, how did you know? what exactly happened in the events. Oh, he went in the suit to hide from the, or to be safe from the children's souls. What's, what children? Whose souls? Didn't mention anything about him murdering people. Also, it's funny 
how he's known among amongst his friends as the Rib Guy. Very funny. So, so funny. Also, I feel like, just with the fire alarm, I will be given the ability to put on the mask once Springlock fucker shows up. Also, how tall is the person I'm playing as? Because these are kid-sized robots. They are about the size of me. And that does make a lot of sense. Also, if the if the suits are or uh, the robots are kit sized, why is the table so low? There's Toy Chica. Look at her go. She's just there, and then she's pissed off. For whatever reason. Because I work here, I guess. And now it will be Freddy, Mangle, this fucker. And oh boy, I can't wait for those 10 minute long nights. Where I highly doubt it's, oh, they come at random, kind of like in the original game. Or like the FNAF games. And they come as scripted. And there's Mother Fucking Spring Freddy. He looks like he's made out of wood. I will not put down this goddamn camera. Exactly, bitch. Run away. He doesn't like fire. And also, I find funny how after he's dealt with, Bun just disappears. Because he won't ha ever have to use it again. And that sounds like Mingle. Also bad. Because everyone is mad. Light splashing. Sound effect garbled text like it's a radio and gone and then we're either going to see this guy move to this room or just out or he's going to stand up and we're going to see his legs and we will sit at 5 a.m. for minutes at a time I called it, he stood up. And he appears. No, he's walking away. God damn it. And then he appears. Yes, he's there. He's leaving. And then he's there. Woo, spooky. We decide to keep a spring lock suit with a corpse inside of it in a in a children's play care daycare whatever boom booga booga i have mask fuck off i like the slight animation though 
And then when he sees, oh, it's Jessica Freddy or whatever, he he just runs back. Makes sense though that he's faster than the other animatronics, considering he's basically human, just slightly slower because heavy metal suit parts, and also robot. Wee. Slightly red text again. Maybe this time we'll get a cutscene. No! Cutscenes have been thrown out the window, I guess. Ooh, slightly more red. Ooh. And then by custom night, it'll be light pink. Sweet! Now we have to deal with yield plushies. And also, they look burnt. Which makes sense, because I'm guessing Oz, or Mike Schmidt, whatever the fuck his name was, at the end of the first game, put them in a box with no holes. He got fired for it. And then later on, the week or something, the place burned down. As in, someone burned it. Here's hoping the phone guy doesn't die. Good old Freddy. Ooga booga, ooga booga, come on, Freddy, reveal yourself. I'm gone in an instant. Awesome. Now we wait for Bonnie, and Chica, and Spring Freddy, and Mangle, and Fucker, and then these guys. I do not even know if it's one is enabled or all but that's awesome and there's bonnie moving along so great so awesome very sweet reveal thyself you coward and he is gone in an instant Huzzah. Anyways. Who's next, I wonder? Maybe it's that fucking plastic bird! Awesome. Uh, 
dum 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 And then when the spring Freddy comes, I'm going to wait. Do you just see him in the office? And there's Shadow Freddy. Didn't even know he was there. Maybe tomorrow night the Spring Bonnie plush will be active. Maybe. Just may be. Maybe. Maybe. Up here, show thyself. Chip. Huzzah. I've, I've done it. My mouse was stuck, but I have done it. And now we will get attacked by Mangle, and this fucker, and then probably all of these guys. Good. Awesome. I honestly think you can really not lose these games unless you're slow. Like, you aren't fast enough to click on them. You guys look at Five Nights at Freddy's, Five Nights at Freddy's Plushies 1. Literally easy as possible. Because you just have to keep your mouse on the right or in the middle depending on who you were dealing with. Oh, what's that? It's this fucker moving. That's awesome. There he goes. And then he's gonna be here. Woo! Also, why does the mask trick him? He is basically a human. And then he's gonna show up in this camera. Woo! Look at him. Hover for mask. I thought it said click. Goodbye. Dun, 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 dun. And he is gone. And now we will deal with these guys. And surprisingly, we are not sitting at four or five AM. We are sitting at four. So who knows what might happen? Maybe even this fucker is activated. I doubt it, because the phone guy didn't say he was activated. Oh wait, it's this guy. He's so tiny. That's funny. Please don't be under the desk or something. I cannot click under there. Ah, I see. You are a little shit, and you pick other sides of the room. Very smart, but also fuck you. But, uh, 6 a.m. or other robots gonna come. Six a.m. Also, I love the fan. Oh no. 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 This better be the last fucker 
who appears. I believe he will appear on the right. I'm checking the left just in case. Good thing I did. Maybe Shadow Freddy and Fredbear will appear on this side. Maybe even Orange Freddy will appear on the right. Who knows? And then flip up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down. Give me 6 a.m. No! That is another plushie moving. It is Foxy. Oh, that was Foxy on the ground there. To the right of the other animatronics. I thought that was Shadow Freddy. Please, let that be the last fucker. I do not want to deal with this guy, this guy, Shadow Freddy, and whatnot. 6 a.m. With slightly more red text. Awesome. Please, lore. I require lore. No. Okay. Fourth night. We have literally this night and one other night. Look, it's much more red. Wow. Wow. Fucking surprise. Awesome. Chica is activated, as well as this fucker. And then maybe tomorrow night, it will be him and him. Awesome. Maybe they'll appear on the right side. But I doubt it because there's much less room on the right, but so much room on the left. I mean, look at this. You can barely see the table, but on the right, you can see most of it. Barely. Most. Ha 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 ha. And now we wait, and wait, and wait. For the final night will be on the 18th. Nice. Of November, no less. Come on, fucker. Square up. Come on, bitch. And then it's the old hullabaloo. Bonnie, then Chica, then Spring Freddy, then Mango, then this fucker, then Freddy, then Bonnie, then Chica, and then this guy. Or honestly, it could be Spring Bonnie and then Chica. Because not all the time, or not, because sometimes when they are mentioned is not when they appear. 
It could be, oh, also this night Chica and Spring Bonnie could, are active. It could be Spring Bonnie and then Chica and the pattern of things. Awesome. Just awesome. Dun, 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 dun. And also, the Vandals thing. I find that interesting. Also, you are just now checking the camera footage from two nights ago. And you saw vandals tampering with the animatronics for children. And you decide to keep the place open with the animatronics for children that have been tampered with with some murderous fucking intent of, of whatever. That's some smart thinking. Now, is that Spring Freddy? Yes, it very much is. He is so made out of wood or some shit. Like, you can see the, like, stupid lines or whatever. Except in this camera. He looks a bit more like plastic. You can still see wood markings. Spring Freddy is scared of fire. Maybe because it looks like he's entirely made out of wood. The fuel for fire. Oh boy, here comes Mango. And they're hella angry. And they're even more mad. And then, at last, they come into the office to get decked in the face. And then it's him. The pattern is so simple and easy. You could probably just program a robot to do this. And then he moves. Come on. Move, god damn it. There we go. And then he stands. And then he starts walking away. And he's walking away. And he's walking closer and closer. And then he's there. Woo! There he goes walking. And there he is. He somehow looks like Nightmare Foxy. The body, at least. Also, I do find it funny how the designs, I believe, are pretty much just FNAF World. The FNAF World designs. Which is funny. Anyways, I hover over this magical area near the lamp, and the mask goes on. Ooga booga. And then he disappears. I take the mask off. Screw the animation, though. And he's back. And then it's Freddy. Then Bonnie. And then probably Chica and Spring Bonnie. Awesome. Great. And there goes this fucker. Surprisingly, this game seems to be going quicker. 
not by a whole lot, but seemingly. Probably also because we are on the second to last night. And we are halfway there. It's barely an hour of shit recorded. Awesome. Come on, Bonnie, just do a trick. Do a flip. Something. And then he's back. And then it will either be Chica or this fucker. No, wait. Foxy is also coming. Also, I swear that's him laying on the ground, but that's just his hook, making it look like eyes or something. So Foxy comes, and then Chica, and then Spring Bonnie. And we're resting at a strong 4 a.m. And there he goes. Look at him skedaddle. Moving right along. Do then get bumped in the face. He's surprisingly much smaller though. Or he is just closer. And now it sits at 5 a.m. Which we will then deal with Chica and Spring Bonnie. Or Spring Bonnie and Chica. And then the final night, we'll have Orange Bear and Fred Bear. Because after he bit a child, they decided, after throwing him out the window and him managing to get back inside the building, he decided, they decided to keep him. For whatever reason, in the parts and service, even though they are plushies and they have literal animatronics. Okay, they only appear over here, so you could just play like this. Bop, 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 bop. And then Spring Bonnie comes, and he is so much closer. But he moves there. He looks like a spring trip or a plush trip. And he's there, and then he appears for the last time on the left. And because he has just got punched in the face, night is now over. With slightly redder text. And then by the fifth night, it will be pure red. Red rum motherfucker! 12, or 12 a.m. fifth night. Woo! Red clock! Woo! Fried bear and orange bear. Shallow Friday is nowhere to be seen. Or Golden Friday. Maybe that's Golden Friday, they just replaced his.
will be more and more active today. And oh, I should have told you this sooner, but the guard I worked with before you that I told you about on the first night got fired yesterday because he didn't have any experience with being a teacher. So by the time we get the daytime flag system problem fully fixed, we'll move you to the day shift since a position became available. But we're unsure if you're going to take the day shift since you work within a part-time job as a teacher. Go we're working on it. I got it all right now since I knew we'd get in contact with the place where the Brock Barney Street came from. The place was saying was Barney Street Diner or something. It's been closed and demolished for 31 years though. And I have some doubt we'll track anyone down there. So it's just definitely two more nights in air. Hang in there. Have a good night. I'm sorry, phone guide. You lie. You said one animatronic. You said one thing was active tonight. Orange fuckface. But you lie, for it is Toy Freddy who is currently fucking moving. Granted, it probably just meant one animatronic, one more animatronic was active. But of course, Fred Bear is bound to be activated in overtime. Or something. And also, yeah, they mentioned Spring Trap, the Spring Trap plushie, which is a nostalgia night, and uh, Golden Freddy. They were burned or some shit in the original building. Where the fuck is Shadow Freddy then? Maybe he was just Shadow of Golden Freddy. And because Golden Freddy died, burned to a goddamn crisp, there was nothing to be a shadow of. Who knows? But we're going strong with everything happening really fast. Two animatronics attacked and it's, and it's 1 a.m. Maybe as soon as she moves, it becomes two. Who knows? Or maybe she doesn't move until 2 a.m. Or nothing will happen. Aha! Movement. Also, the shadows are funny. Oh, what's that? It's her! Moving closer! Oh my god! I know, what, e what will I ever do? Punch. And then it is Spring Freddy. Then Mangle. Then Springlock Fucker. Then Freddy. Then Bonnie. Then Foxy. Then Chica. And then Spring Bonnie. And then Orange Bear. Because why would he be active before Spring Bonnie? That makes no sense. Also, I love that you can hear the actual animatronics moving around, but with the plushies, silence. Absolute silence. Also, I'm surprised we are this far in. And we have, and it hasn't been 50 minutes. The last game was much longer. Oh wait, shit. Fire alarm. I'm gonna try clicking on him. That would have been bad. And now it is Mangle, then Fucker, and then the original gang. Sweet. What's that? You appear before me. Why well, just click on you? Huzzah. And then we deal with this guy. And he gets up 
and moves and moves and moves and moves. Awesome. Or maybe he will just sit around until three. Fuck. That's probably what's going to happen. And he stands up because I can hear him all the way across this fucking place. When he moves over here, I get it because it is just a fucking door that is blocking it, essentially. But that sound like skittering. That is not the sound a giant animatronic with human stuff with human shit in it makes when it moves and then again you have running just dun, 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 dun. hover ooga booga it's just me your average Freddy and also instead of appearing behind the desk he appears in front of it that's probably why he runs he runs so fast he leaps over the desk in order to rip out your eyes or to eat your kidney because the kidney is what's important these fucks right here are just after after your liver huh and there goes Freddy And he has glowing eyes. Or whatever. Also, I love the sound. And so they're just being silence. Or some other loud noise. Sounds familiar, though. Oh well. Maybe if I click my camera up and down up and down they'll move faster huzzah they have moved faster ooga booga and now we wait for foxy And then Chica, and then Spring Bonnie, and then the real Orange Bear. Because Fred Bear, I don't know, he's dead. That that that's just his corpse on the floor. I don't know what else to say. I'm going to be mad if the real Orange Bear goes before. Spring Bonnie. Because that would make no sense. He was introduced literally last. Yet he appears before someone else who was activated the night previous. Perfect. Absolute nothing, and nothing, and nothing. Just awesome. But what's that movement? For it is Chica. She's finally moving. And she is mad. She's coming with a vengeance. Everyone's mad, and plushies can use their eyebrows, apparently, to convey emotion, for they do not have eyelids, unlike these. And what's that? Spring Bonnie is going B 
before Orange Bear. That's awesome. It doesn't change. It doesn't change a thing. Also, back to the phone call. No shit, a night guard who was moved to the quote unquote gay position, aka as a teacher. No shit, he was bad. He he was hired for night shift to watch the place. But because he did a bad job or whatever, you decide to move him as a teacher. Why? All right, kids, here's how to watch over a building from 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. Can you tell us more, mister? Hoo-hoo! No. That's not how things work, little Timmy. I almost panicked because I thought he appeared on the other side. But no, I was just clicking too fast. And then it is the end. And then afterwards, we will do overtime. 6 a.m. with red text. Maybe now we will get a cut scene. I doubt it. I was wrong. 6 12 a.m. It's a me, I'm guessing. Well, it's Blue Man, Puppet, Blue Man entered Spring Lot. Blue Man entered Puppet. Chased by children. Puppet. Nicole Smith. Good job, sport. We'll see you next week. 11, 18, 2006. $160.50. Um, Fazbear's K-12 Company. The Fazbear. Fazbear K-12 Company. Welcome to Freddy's. Meaning, we are related to Michael, because same last name. Probably. Anyways. Over time shift, aka 690. AKA, finally, fucking Fredbear moves. Also, that's a dark red, or something. Woo, spooky! I love it, though. Small little detail. The little guy, why are you doing there? You're not supposed to be there. Our building's closed down for repairs. Someone died. Ooh. Hello? Are you still there? Okay, great. So welcome to Overtime Shift, aka Night Shift. So anyway, I have some good news and bad news for you. So the good news is that we got the daytime AI system issue fixed at last. So the place will, will be open again tomorrow. But the bad news, however, is that someone downstairs used a puppet suit. It was a spare one. It was never going to be used, but someone used it. No, this wasn't here at night or after night. Listen, just finish your shift, okay? And by the way, we have two more parties active. The Fredbear one and the Shelfry one. And they can both teleport to any place in the building, even your office. So if you see me in the office, click on our bodies, okay? So for now, just make it to the night. And by the time your last shift, which is tomorrow, is over, I will take the night shift for you. And by the way, I think you're all set for tonight, and you know what you're doing. So with that being said, good night, and good luck. So, good start so far. A uh, phone guy said we are on night six. Also, what the fuck? It is not the 18th, for night five was the 18th. I think. Also, I feel like the puppet suit will become some sort of enemy. I doubt it. Also, why did you have a puppet suit? And why are all your suits spring lock suits? Who knows? Maybe they just can't create felt suits. No, they need to have robotic ones. Even for a puppet. Totally. Also, the suit in the back room that is literally next to Springlock Bonnie. So what the fuck? Also, what the fuck was it with those children? 
Who killed who? Who killed what? Where the what the fuck are those children? Maybe they're from the original Freddy's. For whatever reason, inside a different building completely. But hey! Good news is, Shadow Freddy's fucking appearing. For the first time in forever! So, huzzah! 1 a.m. running strong, 2 a.m. shining so far, woohoo! Awesome! Alrighty. And what's that? I was gone. And she still hasn't moved. Awesome. Great. Perfect. Also, where the fuck is Shadow Freddy? Fred Bear's finally moving, which is good. But Shadow Freddy is nowhere. Maybe he's in one of these two areas. Except that one. That one is an entrance. And this is a bathroom, I believe. There's Chica. Are you getting tired of the sound of my voice? Or fine. Bum bum. Bum 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 bum. One a.m. Three animatronics dealt with. Come on down, Spring Freddy. You're made out of wood. Everything else is made out of plastic and hardened steel. And there he goes, moving his wooden body along. But also, who was that glue person? It could be Mike. I wouldn't put it past. I wouldn't put it past uh, it being Mike. Because we play as Nicole. Nicole has no reason to rush inside of an, a spring lock suit. Leaving it completely in place as they climb inside and not moving at all. Besides laughing. And then dying. But Nicole has no reason to do that. They're not haunted by spirits. Haunted nor haunted. So if anything, it might be Mike. Because Justin Afton has already died in that goddamn Spring Bonnie suit. Also, you're telling me that Spring Bonnie, er, yes, no, not Spring Bonnie, Spring Lock Bonnie. You're telling me that Spring Lock Bonnie, what the fuck? That was Shadow Freddy. No, thank you. Please, fuck off. Anyways, spring lock Bonnie suit. Yes, the spring lock Bonnie, whatever. You're telling me it comes from a old restaurant from 31 years ago. So you're fucking telling me that you have an animatronic or whatever from 1975. Why? Also, no fucking wonder it failed and the spring locks went off. Maybe because it is an oh, it is over it is a over three no is a three it is over three fucking decades old ooga booga ooga booga here comes spring lock and you can go fuck off cause mask ooga booga Love the slight light. Love the animation though. Can't really see it because of 
flashing. Oh well. Also, I don't think Spring, uh, Chef Reddy poses a threat. For the sole purpose of appearing once and never again. This entire night. And Freddy is on the fucking move, and he's already outside my door. Wow. I wonder what's going to happen. Punt. I punt him. Ooh, there's, there, there's Shell Freddy again. He, he's just gone. He, he's just fucking exploring. Nowhere to be seen. At this point, he's a fucking Easter egg. And next is Bonnie playing the Theodore March, which doesn't, which doesn't make sense, as that's Freddy's tune. Even Orange Bear didn't play that, so it makes no sense at all. Die. Also, hear me out. These guys, but with magnetic limbs. Meaning, whenever it's night, you just take off the limbs. You take off the arms. You take off the legs. They can't move. You don't have to worry about a thing. Or just detachable arms. And legs and limbs and shit. And now because it was Bonnie, it was now Foxy. Who moves slightly faster than Freddy. And Bonnie moves slower than Freddy. And slower than Foxy, of course. But Foxy is fast. Maybe even as fast as Freddy. Or faster. That's... It seems the same speed. But it makes sense. No wind resistance. No resistance at all. Because he's lightweight, essentially. And he's small. Ooga booga! Fucking shadow dickhead. So that's awesome. All right. Chica's next. Yay. Good old Chica. Chica, Chica, Chica. Go die in the hole. Damn, these floors are, are reflective. I'm telling you, you gotta give that janitor a raise. He is so good at his job, the goddamn floors are reflected. Granted, her eyes are glowing, but still. Also, this game would be a lot harder with any sort of power meter. But granted, this is Fazbear K-12. Or whatever. They're not on a budget. They have actual funding. Or something. Instead of battery operated building power or whatever. Sweet. And now it is time for. Yeah, he already moved. For Orange Bear. And then Fredbear, because Shadow Freddy apparently is just an Easter egg. That poor plushie, he had so much potential, not only one, he had potential of some sort. And it was stripped away for a mere camera screen. He's probably just exploring. Maybe he's repairing these cameras as far as I know. As far as I know, there could be a paper right in front of the camera saying camera disabled. Ooh, spooky. Come on, Fredbear. Do something. I thought Mangle moved for a second. Ooh, 
he's gone, and he's there, and he's bright as fuck. Also, there was a lot of thud. What the fuck was that? Did I thought he? I I I forgot. I thought he was just gonna appear to the side like all the others. Come on, give me a dark red. 6 a.m. No! 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 You were a mere screen? You can go fuck off, Freddy. Come on, bitch! You can't just pull something like that! You appear on this screen multiple times! Only to then become an actual enemy! That doesn't make sense. And here it is, 6 fucking AM! Hell is over. Nicole Smith, $100.30. You get overtime, your last day is tomorrow. Don't mess up. What do you- Oh yeah, that one guy is taking over. Also, what do you mean tomorrow? This is overtime! Also, orange the end this time. And also, it's the 21st, instead of the 18th. I guess tomorrow means extras. Because the extras, meaning custom night, has shit. Custom night. Old ones, new ones. Let's go for ladies night. It will literally take the least amount of time. And then we will see whatever message there is. Custom mode four. Meaning I just have to click in front of me twice and then click to the left. Awesome. And it's starting fast. Chica's on the move. She's rushing down to the office. Can she make it in time? Also, it's the 22nd, so it's tomorrow. Wow. What a fucking surprise. Last day, phone guy, ta phone guy takes over. Oh no. Phone guy's gonna die. I have the strongest suspicion that he will. And now it'll be Mangle. And then Chica. Not before, but after. Yep, that's her moving. Bam! And now we deal with the bird. Because haven't you heard that the bird is in fact the word? Ha ha ha! Come on, Chica. Chica, just fucking kill me. Do something. Stand. Do what he does. Take three whole frames to move. And you move there. And then you move even closer. And now we'll finally beat this stupid knight. And I've done it. It is over with. Now we wait for 6 a.m. Sweet. Click up, click down, click up. Ooh, spasm. Surprisingly, the text is white. Or slightly pinkish, I can't tell. Or slightly grayish. Who knows? Come on. What? You're fired? Reason tampering the tampering the animatronics, violating daycare's rules, tampering with our equipment. No, you violate the rules of the daycare. As punishment, you are banned from working with us forevermore. So get out of our sight. 
Uh, free, it's closing down. Freak Fat Bear's uh, daycare is closing its doors. After being opened for three weeks, Freddy Fazbear's daycare is officially closing its doors. It will never be open to the public ever again because a man named Nicole Smith, hmm, nice name, tampered with most of the kids' sized animatronics. It wasn't the company's fault. Here's what they have to say about this. We're so sorry about this disaster. We'll never let this happen again because of this disaster. We're going to dem we're gonna demolish the place tomorrow. Cause why not? So it's time to officially say bye bye to Freddy Fazbear's daycare. But on the bright side, we're currently planning a horror attraction that will open in the future. The place won't be haunted when it's finished. Trust us on that one. Fazbear's K-12 Company. To be continued in the third game. Woo! And the toy animatronics died forever after. Sweet. Now time to open the extras and see other shit. Characters. Toy Freddy. Toy Bonnie. Toy Chica. Mango, a.k.a. Toy's Boxy. Spring Freddy. He seriously looks like he's made out of wood. Spring Bonnie Plush. Freddy Fazbear Plushy. Bonnie Plushy. Chica Plushy. Foxy Plushy. Fredbear Plushy. Shadow Freddy Plushy. Orange Freddy Plushy. Spring Lock Bonnie. Kill. Jump Scares. Toy Freddy. Toy Bonnie. Toy Chica. Spring Freddy. Mango, aka Toy Foxy. Spring Bonnie Plush. Frank Fazbear Plushy, Bonnie Plushy, Chica Plushy, Foxy Plushy. Also, she slides in from the right, which doesn't make sense as she appears on the left. Fred Bear Plushy, Orange Freddy Plushy, Springlock Bonnie, and no fucking Shadow Freddy jump scare. Unused content. Springtrap Plushy. I was gonna add him into the game, but due to me being concerned that adding another character will break Clip Team's RAM limit, I decide to remove him from the game entirely. Fact, in the Night 5 phone call, the phone guide said that two plushies, Springtrap included, were burnt and salvaged, or disposed of, after Freddy Fazbear's Daycare 1.0 burned down. Voice lines. I was gonna add some voice acting for, uh, for one of the characters in this game. But, due to me not writing voice lines and writer's block, which is stupid, I know, I didn't feel like adding voice lines, so they are scrapped. Awesome. And so, that will be the end of this video of FNAF Five Nights at Freddy's Plushies 2. Gone. Well, not done. Finished! Haha! -ha. There are five more games after this. I'll be, and I'll make sure to create more videos on it. Yay. Anyways, if you like the video, like it. If you want to see more of my content, make sure to subscribe and whatnot. Make sure to check out more of my content. I feel like I already said that. And stay tuned for the other videos on the series. Have a good day. Do you do best? Bye.